Hello, this is Imi. I'd like to talk today about a recently added feature in JOSN and how to uh, use GPS tracks to create your ways on top of them. So this is JOSN, first loaded without any data, so let's open something. I've recorded a track log yesterday when I was walking and let's show it. Okay, this one. So uh, um, the next thing you have to do is to, uh, to download everything to download everything that is on the same location. So uh, let's first download the raw GPS data. It's clicked here because we have only one GPS layer loaded. Okay. Mm, there's an, another track and here's something added too. Not very much for this area. Okay, now let's check the non-GPS data. While it's downloading, I'll explain what I'll do next. Uh, I've added a few uh, feature to import some images. I, I've taken uh, photos of street signs along my way, and Jason now can uh, display them on the track log. And I will do it now. Uh, for this to do, I have to open the layer dialog, this one. Click here. Uh, currently, I, I have three layers. The data layer, there can only be one data layer, and every time you edit something, you will change this data layer. And then there are the two GPS tracks, the one I loaded from disk and the one I get from, from the server. You can uh, uh, show or hide any layer subsequently, so if you want to see something. Okay, this was the original I loaded. Now it's nothing showed. How boring. So, now let's import the images. Right click on the uh, GPS layer, you want to import them. You have to use a GPS layer as base, because uh, the uh, images get associated with the coordinates. Then choose import images. Then select any JPEGs. I have them in this directory here for the yesterday. You can select the whole directory or you can go into and multi-select anything. So let's open it here. Now the images get read. Uh, they are not held in memory, but uh, they are scanned for their date in their header, and uh, this date will later be used to uh, position the, them on the screen. Okay, now I have noticed that uh, they, are not, they are out of sync. I uh, actually take your photos the whole way long, so let's check it out. You can use info. Then you get the GPS start, okay, at this time. It's in the track log of a GPS recorded. And you got the, uh, your images and they are this time. So you see uh, the uh, uh, Jason thinks that the images are taken before the GPS track started, which is of course wrong. But here you see a currently, a, a currently a entered delta and time zone. And this is what we do now. We have to sync our GPS track, track log recorder uh, together against our photo. So um, uh, the easiest way to do is uh, after you have your track log or before or at any time, uh, take a photo of your GPS unit displaying any unit any time. I've done this here. So I have just opened my GPS unit and uh, showed some time and take a photo of it. And now you have to enter the uh, time displayed here in this box. Okay, I know it, is, it was on this day. Uh, if you would zoom into it, you could probably say the day here too, or here, uh, 25 April. Okay, and this is the time. So this is wrong, as you can see. Uh, this is the uh, time that was read from the timestamp of the photo. So there is a sync arrow in both and you can here enter the display time it's about uh, 42 seconds and this one is uh, because most um, most GPS units you know the GPS track logs are recorded in UTC but uh, most photo apparatus uh, photo cameras uh, take photos in uh, the uh, local time Android. So here you can uh, here enter your time zone difference. This is usually the time zone difference you are living in. So I'm in Germany, uh, it is minus two. So let's try it out. And yes, the uh, images get 
get the new position, we can check it in the info, and yes, they are all black. They will be turned to a red if they are after the track, which shouldn't happen. So now you can click on any image and it gets displayed in a pop-up. You can zoom it just to see, okay, it was Silberblattstraße and am Waldrand. So now you can start entering your track. We have done it the last time a bit. You have to first add any nodes. So you can move on your track. It isn't very accurate because I, I was walking and uh, I wasn't paying attention that I was walking in a, in a straight, so I go a bit there, go, uh, go a bit there. It will be uh, roughly this, and you can use more, uh, more precisely tracks to uh, correct it later on. So then you have to uh, line up all line segments. Now you can uh, use another trick. You hold down the mouse, drag it to the next node and press space. And hold down the mouse, the whole thing along. Hold down every time the mouse. And this works because currently the map mode button, this one, has the selected focus, although you don't see it. And if you press space on any Windows or Unix ma machine, then it will just activate the current, oops, the current focus. And this is exactly what you want to do when you want to add a new line segment. So, and finally, let's check. This is am Waldrand. This is the street too. And here I have okay. Sonnenblumenstraße am Waldrand. So this is probably am Waldrand. Let's check it here. Silberblatt am Waldrand, yes. So here's some Silberblattstraße going from. So this street is the am Waldrand street. So let's first select everything. Yeah, I can, you can hold shift down to uh, add anything to the, to the selection. Okay, this one too. Now you have anything selected and now you can press the create way. Ah, uh, there's something, something missing. Whoa, okay. Again, select anything. Now make extra sure that you get everything. You can Press Shift, as I said, to add selection, and press Alt to add anything you touch, not only anything which is completely in the selection. So now I've covered all. Now press Create Way. One way has been selected. Do you wish to add all segments belong to the way instead? No, since we want to add to the current way. Create a new way out of eight segments. Um, Dawn, no two. Okay, let's just use the way and click on it. It should work that you can add this way uh, a way to it. Probably it isn't figured out in the correct way. I will fix it later. Okay, now, now you, you have added your Anwaldrand. Okay, it's get marked by an uh, by an star after the name because it has been changed. So let's upload the changes. This has to be added. Okay, some stuff and Anwaldrand has been modified. Now it gets uploaded. And that's it, I'm finished.